as the co-author of the E-Myth Chiropractor that's based on the principles from the E-Myth as applied by Michael E. Gerber. One of the concepts here is that a business is destined to grow. It's destined to grow from its infancy, conception, to its adolescence, and to its maturity. One of the factors that contributes to whether that business goes to adolescence has not anything to do with the business itself, but its leader. So let's apply that 1840-60 rule to the behavior of the chiropractor in their practice. The 18-year-old would be synonymous with the new practitioner, and a new practitioner could be someone 10 years new into the chiropractic practice. The 18-year-old is worried about patient acceptance, worried about pa whether the patients are validating them. They're worried about whether the patient likes what they are doing, likes what they are saying, likes how they're being, or even worried about how the patients think about what they're wearing or what they've changed in the office. The 18-year-old, the new doctor mindset is still obsessed by others' view and therefore seem to adopt others' view. So we have a whole host of people-pleasing gimmicks. We have a whole host of, and, a, and a conundrum of different strategies to try to make the people coming in like them. Truly, truly, that's at the heart of this. So we need to step back. I had a colleague who was 62 years old, struggling in his practice, went to a practice management company who told him to wear not only the white butcher coat with the right name on it, but to take a tray, a metal tray, just like surgical instruments, put and put his activator in there and then put a cover over it and then take that out when he was going to apply the adjustment. Really? Seriously? Do we have to wear latex gloves to get the point and be so obsessed with this? And then we have the 40-year-old, the more the business, the business matured doctor. Business matured meaning, I got the snot kicked out of me at times. I've had to rethink things. And we either respond at 40 years old or whatever that timeline is in practice. Um, it could be five years out, 10 years out, or maybe never. We might have this response and reaction that we don't care anymore about what other people think. They're either going to take my way or they go on the highway. That would be the high D approach. Or they might th take the approach of, I just won't talk about controversial things with the patient anymore. They don't want to hear anyway, and I really don't care if they get it or they agree. You see, the behavior is still immature because it never got past that adolescence and therefore the business gets stuck from infancy, adolescence, and never matures because the leader never matures. Ouch! I said it again. So then the idea here is that the emotionally balanced, the mature, the intra and interpersonal skill set that, that most of us intend intend to learn and to become skillful at that our experiences plus our intentionality to be the best leader, the best doctor we can be, we get to that mature level and realize no one was thinking about us that much, that the patient was still thinking about what? Themselves. They were not thinking about you as a chiropractor or your career or the things that you want or what's going on in the politics of your career. They were worrying about themselves. That's the epiphany of the 60-year-old practitioner. So let's take the epiphany of the 60-year-old um, person that mature level and let's if you're 20 let's make it now if you're 25 let's make it now if you're 30 let's make it now let's take that mindset and let's take that behavior to realize that the 184060 rule can be accelerated by your choice and your choices will shape your chances